Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to my show, Lost and Found. I'm your host, Ms. Doe. I am back after a very, very long time, which is around four weeks. And I know it's not that much, but I try to share videos weekly. So it was a long break for me. But I am back and I hope to share at least one video each week. I will try. I don't trust myself that much, but we will see. Before we start with today's case, I would like to give you a quick life update because why not? It's, it's my channel and sometimes i think it's okay to talk about myself for a while well if you watched my previous video i told you about the illness i have like i haven't given any details about it but i am a sick girl and i need treatment and stuff and I go to hospitals every two weeks and this is a hard process for me and also I go to school like I started school last week I finished my first week and at the end of this year like this great I will take an exam to attend the university which is very very important for me and i am really really busy like i spend around 12 hours a day for school and i have to study a lot so i may not find enough time to make videos as much as i used to but I am not leaving, I will be here and I will keep telling people stories, just um, maybe, I don't know, we will see, not so often, but I'm definitely still here, yeah, and other than that, if you're wondering about my previous project, um, it is not ready like it was ready but for some reason I didn't like it at all and I also um, lost the person lost my muse and I need some time to recover and it is still on my mind in my mind like I will do it one day I don't know when or I don't know how but yeah, I haven't forgotten about it. Just, I need some time. And about today's case, we are here to talk about the absurd case of Lawrence Bader. A man disappears unexpectedly, then reappears as a TV host under a different name three years later sounds interesting now let's start in 1957 lawrence bader disappeared after taking his boat on lake erie he was on a fishing trip and declared that in 1960. when he left he left behind three children and a pregnant wife but five years later, his doppel doppelganger, I, I have a problem with this word, okay, but five years later, his doppelganger was found in Chicago, Illinois. This man's name was John Fritz Johnson. He was a television host for the local news station. Johnson claimed not to be the missing Lawrence Bader, but what happened to him? Instead, he claimed to have grown up 
in an orphanage before he joined the navy, got married, and had his own children. He took a fingerprint test, and the DNA matched up to Lawrence Bader. So simply, Johnson's fingerprints matched Bader's. After the DNA results went public, the TV station fired him and his second wife annulled their marriage. How did his family react? To make matters worse, the life insurance company wanted their $40,000 payout back from Johnson's first wife. Absolutely devastating. That's equivalent to $370,500 today, which is a lot in my case. His family was absolutely blindsided and in disbelief. He claimed to have had amnesia, which erases memory and instead created false ones. Was he telling the truth? It remains a mystery today. Now, let's go deeper. Larry Bader appeared to have it all. A good carrier, a beautiful wife, three children, and another child on the way. But appearances were deceptive, with Bader accruing a large debt which his salary could not pay. On May 15, 1957, the 30-year-old Akron, Ohio kitchen appliance salesman and a major archer went on a short fishing trip. He never returned, leading to one of the more bizarre disappearance of recent memory. Bader rented a boat at the Rocky River near Cleveland that afternoon and was warned about an upcoming storm. The deteriorating weather didn't seem to face Bader. At 4.30 p.m. he showed off in the rented motorboat. The storm came up three hours later. The next morning, Bader's boat was found on the rocks at Perkins Beach and Bader was not in it. The Coast Guard said the lake had been so rough, no man could have survived overboard. Four days later, a fascinating debonair and well-dressed man entered the round table bar on the corner of the 19th and Harney Streets in Omaha, Nebraska. He gave his name as John Fritz Johnson. He became a radio station announcer, sports director of a television station, and one of the best known, best liked, and most flamboyant personalities in Omaha. He told friends and acquaintances that he took up archery to strengthen his back muscles after an injury. With his background of hunting in Ohio, it is no surprise that he won the Nebraska State Championship. Bader enthralled his friends with vivid stories of a boyhood in a Boston orphanage and 13 years in the Navy. He kept tropical fish, especially the Siamese fighting variety, the kind that devour each other. He wore an eye patch after surgery to remove a cancerous tumor from his left eye, which added to his large-than-life character. In 1961, Bader married Nancy, pretty Nancy Zimmer, a 20-year-old divorcee and photographer's model. He adopted Nancy's daughter by her previous marriage, and in 1963, they had a son of their own. Larry Bader was declared legally dead in an Akron court in 1960. By this time, Mary Lou Bader had settled down to the business of trying to rear four children alone.
In 1964, a Nebraska archery firm sent Bader to a sports show at Chicago's McCormick Place to show off its equipment. One of the visitors at the show was from Akron and he did a double take when he saw the Nebraska archery champion. He had, he was sure, just seen a dead ringer for the missing Larry Bader. The man called Bader's brothers from Akron. They flew into Chicago, took a look at Fritz, and said he was their long-lost brother. Johnson's finger, fingerprints were sent to the FBI, who compared them with the fingerprints Bader gave when he joined the U.S. Navy as an 18-year-old, and they matched. Johnson claimed to have no memory of his life as Lawrence Bader, probably, probably due to the eye surgery. Now that Johnson's true identity had been discovered, several quandaries now appeared. Were the insurance policies worth roughly $40,000, which had been paid out to Mary Lou Null and Void? As Bader Johnson had not legally divorced Mary Lou before marrying Nancy, was he a biologist? Johnson lost his job and marriage, his marriage to Nancy and was reduced to working in a bar in Omaha with most of his money going to support Mary Lou and Nancy. He and Mary Lou met in Chicago in August 1965, although Johnson insisted he had no recollection of meeting, marrying, or having a family with her. In 1966, the cancer reappeared, this time in his liver, and Bader, or Johnson, died on the 16th of September, aged just 39. So, what was the real story behind the disappearance of Lawrence Bader and appearance of John Johnson? Did Bader decide he was trapped in the life he was leading and saw only one way out? Fake his own death and set up a new life somewhere else? Or was Bader suffering from dissociative amnesia, a rare condition where a person has no memory of their life owing to trauma or stress? In a dissociative bug state, they have an urge to travel and may invent a new personality, settling in a new area with no recollection of how they got there. And this was all about the bizarre disappearance and uh, appearance of Lawrence Bader and John Johnson. I don't know what you think about his case, but it is definitely a bizarre one and i don't have any theories like i'm not judging anyone i'm not ju judging lawrence or john i don't know but um as as you can see i don't really believe the amnesia theory like probably it was a lie, but again, I'm not judging anyone, but if it was a lie, then that's a shame because leaving your kids and your pregnant wife behind to have a better life, it sucks, literally. In my case, it's a bad thing, and if he did that, he's a bad person. But if he had amnesia and he doesn't remember what happened or who he was, then that's okay. Like, we all became sick and become sick sometimes, and I'm not judging. But again, if it was a lie, then Bader is a bad guy. Tell me what you think, and then we can just then discuss the case, and yeah. That said, I don't know if I can shoot another video today because I have tons of homework, and I haven't even started doing them yet, and today is Sunday, 
I will go to school tomorrow and I have to finish my homeworks until tomorrow. But I will try to shoot one more video to make it up to you. I am so sorry for making you wait and I love all of you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do it and become a family member of mine because I really care about my family members and I love them all. Like, if you don't want to subscribe, then it's also okay. Yeah, that that's it. Have a life full of stars. Till then.